Wah Umar. How do we feel about Omar Fate for House District 62A? <laughs> uh, thank you guys for being out here tonight uh, to support Omar and uh, really to just come together uh, in the face of so much adversity. Uh, and, and really just show the world what we stand for here in this community. Ilahi ba mahad skale, tad ka sharaf ta badan oka soqayb galay oo yimi taagerada umarna wa mahatin yihin wa hawaiye wa hadok ta yima kushega wa hawaiye arinta tan muda yunu soo wadni wulina dawa soqona isa, sha Allahu mel wana aksan wa mara isa. وحد كجرنا إسا دمان تنا سيد لوسو بحية سيد مارت اللي أجا سمي سيد أمو قطه مركا وحوي أرنتاس وحين دون إنا إنا إيمان والبعان الدبين وهل كذا كسي وصعته وعي نقطه ماشي ندون إن أي قاعد عمر محوها تاجره دیسیو سرد وینتی سیو حوش ای نگلی سی او هنگ قاتو. It's a privilege to be here tonight with you. A privilege. And we gather at the local level. At the local level to fight back. Because at the local level is where we can do things together. This community here, joining together, arm in arm, to make our community stronger and better. Rising together. That's what we need, rising together. And so, we create job opportunities as Hennepin County did at the Opportunity Center at Cedar Riverside, rising together. We create opportunities for early childhood education for the little children so that they can grow up and be strong, rising together. And we make sure that the schools are teaching our young people so that they can rise together. These are positive things that we can do, but we must fight back against Washington and the Trump administration. We must fight back against the hatred. We must rise together to fight back and build this community and make it strong and take our country back. Take our country back together by rising together. Thank you so much. Umar Marki u Jagadan Uskuso Sharahi, Wahan Kamidaha, Dotki Uhure, or Meshan Imado, Mahaila Umar Wahana Kana, or Nisnakane Ilahada, Sedi Tonsano. إن كدو وانين دل كان كدو شيء وانين إن حفرض أوله جعدا نوسكو شرحي مركو شرحان وحان إيري وحاس كسو شد بشرح دانو سومالك على أوفر بدن سيد ويد عذي عمر وحان ماشى نوسو استاجي وحان قانا إنه إذن دق على مايو إن هذان سومالين هينا وحان مهمة إن هذا أوجاتان إن هذا عد كي نسيسان قف إذن دانينا يوم هذا الدوحف وقدورنين قبيل أو قدورتيد واحد يرى هذا الشيء مثلاً هذا قد دنت هذا 
Uh, I was asked to say this in English. Uh, what I said is that vote for your issues. We need to vote based on issues. There is mass incarceration that is taking place. We need to vote for someone that will fight for our rights. There is Islamophobia happening. We need someone who understands the issues and will fight for us. There are bills that are being passed to discriminate against our people. We need someone who will fight for us, someone who understands our issues. Do not vote because of the color of the person. Do not vote because this person is your cousin. Vote for your issues. Vote for issues that matter and vote for someone that will fight for you. In summary, that's what I, t what I talked about. As, and as, as we know, Umar has been fighting and he's, he has been coming and uh, defending uh, the community. That was the message. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أنا أقول كل اللي دادت كي عمر ليش قينا يي إلى مركي هروا والله حم بلاباي أيانها وحون ماشل اللي يقول يا ري واحد هاي إن أريك هو بن أو أن كل رجل لنا يو إن عد كي نسيسان إن ماشي كي ماذا كي راهذا سيد أكتي هي ولا ليال عمر وحو ترتم يا جدًا كلها وكيل هذا قبل كان من الصوتة كار هاندق ما دور شذا اللي حيل باتن إيه عمر سيد إنه كور قبنا وعند اللي يراه أو هل كان كل شيء إنه هذا إنه سوامال إنه هاي وحي إنه مريكا أني مد إن أي إنه دوا حكر نقوله عدة كلية وفضد وحكر نقوله كرتا نظام كان مريكا كان نحكي لي كرتا وحوي عيالك أما دتك هل كان جنريشن كا أما فع كل دالن دونا أما كل شيء عمر وح وح بدن إنه جس وجوين كرا هدي وتجو جلها وكيل هذا أنا جس ده انقبه وحيالها آت كي إنه جد دالن أو دبات هذا إنه جهيس توا حكم مذا جريها وحو حين جه يستان وحبر الشدة وهذا ركتين عرور تاني شغل آن يحبر الشدة آن مركي هالشيء وحبر الشدة هنا أي كسر قدين حبسية ذي بدن كود كجيران إد مركي أرين تاس أو أرفو كيد جريسة أو أو أول ليسة أما أو دو ده أي نو بها النهي إد أسينا ما ها قف شري سوامالي كيميد أما ودن كي سوامالي أما قارد أفريقيا وحويان عرور تهلك كل الله ليسة وعمر تسالها ويا هي عمر وحو يدك جب هيها إن عد عد يعد تيسان وراسو مال ده وحي أطري على كيلة تعجب وحبال وعشورة يسو دولة ده وحي عنان عودن كلامه قفك إنه دولة الرادين إنه أو إنه ربنا إنه دولة إنه قريب جلا ده وحي وكل حساب ثم يا وحي ويا ورد قاله هنا يعود كنا مركب واحد ذكر عود صنع يا إنه عمر لبضاء ريموت لبر بريستاكتن how are everybody doing today that's good that's good that's good so we're here today to talk about Omar He's going to have the keys to the city. The woman he's replacing has been in, been in the position for 38 years. It's time to replace. And this is what we talk about. You will not see Black Lives Matter dormant and not participating. We have to elevate our brothers and sisters. We see y'all as brothers and sisters. And this is where that barrier gets broken down so people can see that we get along. He's the same age as I. These are things that we have to stand up together and stand in this fight because his skin looks like mine. Here we come. We're not going to stop. And so this young elevation, he is the key for us to be able to say, what are you going to do for our city? We need the change. We need the help, especially when it comes to housing, all these other opportunities. How can we pioneer a better path for our younger ones and that's what he has a very good background in and that's what kind of really struck me on a personal level that he had the background with dealing with children dealing with kids and guiding the youth and reading to these kids and teaching them about how to bring, really bring effective change and what he did was a pilot program which had six people involved in that program and through that program the only separation was the money piece they put the kids on a pedestal where it's like, here, we'll give you a stipend to pay for your daily costs and see how you function in America. They gave those kids that opportunity, and what do you think they did? They started outperforming their peers. They started outperforming. And so when I met him, when I met him, I said, you know what? This is something that, this is exactly what we're on. Our Black Lives Matter movement 
is a movement. It's, a, it's for our people. This has nothing to do with one individual. It's for our community to move forward. But then utilizing this one person because that's the way this system is set up. Well, he's that person. You should vote for him. And that's where we stand on this whole issue with good representation. He's a real down-to-earth person and has, uh, has the opportunity to network with other people that doesn't really look like him. And that's where I think he's key. Um, and that's why you should get out and vote. Let's push others to get out and vote and not be sideballed by some of these policies or things that people try to, hey, push this idea or do this. He seems to come off as a very humble person that's really to stand up for what he believes in, and he has our backing. How you doing? My name is John Thompson. I'm an organization called Fight for Justice, LLC. Um, I'm also a part of an organization called The New North. Um, I'll be right to the point. There's a racist agenda that comes here every year, and they call it a legislative session where a room full of white people get together and they pass bills and they lobby and it seems like everything that they try to pass and everything that they lobby for affects the black man and the black community. Excuse me. It is, it is. It is. And they call that a legislative session. I'm going to tell you that Omar's here to break that cycle. Uh, if we don't stand for nothing, we are far for anything. And I honestly believe that change is coming. It's a beautiful thing to see a black man running for a house seat because there's not enough color in that crayon box they call a legislative session. It's a beautiful thing to see a black man pushing policy to help other black men that look just like me. It's a beautiful thing to stand in solidarity with the Somali community and you, brother, because you are the change that we've been looking for. You are the change that we've been looking for at the Capitol. There's a racist agenda that comes and it affects my community every year and it affects yours. And the Donald Trump's playbook comes to Minnesota. Every year they bring that legislative session here. Omar's here to break that cycle. I know you've had enough of politicians door knocking on your door, phone banking at your house, and you get them in that seat and they do nothing for you. Omar's here to break that cycle. Brother, you have to tap your cousins on the shoulder. You have to tap your nieces and nephews on the shoulder. You have to bring them with you to the ballot box. Y'all have to show up in numbers. Somali community, we're going to win this thing. But you have to show up to the booth. Bring your brothers. Bring your sisters. Bring your cousins. Bring your aunties. Bring your grandmothers to the booth. We need to win this thing because this is the change we've been asking for right here today. Standing right there. Thank you so much for having me. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Tams. Um, I'm great honor. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. وحيا هاي قفك كلية كدم غنا يا إشيوجا إذا كها يستا إيميجريشن كصعدالك إذا كد إذا كها يستا دباتوين كجريها هي شغلة عن تدت كم دو تدت كم دو وتدت الله قد يبوضن كان وعدان كوين جا بدينهن وحاول يري سومالي بدن أو إذا سو وعدا أركيسان أما تلفون إذا سو درتا أما إذا سو درتا أكله وراقو أو إذا ده عدنا سيا بد عمر وكد وين يهاي أورجانيزيشن كي يجونا حد كهور عيد عن عمر هين ما ننتاجرين مركب وحن دين شجع يا دمانتين إن عمر وتاجر نصوما. I would definitely like to bring Omar up here to show that he definitely will have our support. It's more of like a certificate, and this is gonna be some of our first ways. If you want to come on just this side of it. This is from us to him to say that we have to stand up and continue to bring that change. We have to take these seats at the table to really do that. And this is a part of that. This is the endorsement.
I would like to introduce um, Angela Kawe. She's a candidate for Handy County Commissioner. Um, I actually had a few times to connect with her at the convention. She's really sweet. And please, please welcome her. Hello, everyone. My name is Angela Conley. I'm running for Hennepin County Commissioner, 4th District. And what I see in this room are my brothers and sisters. We need representation on the county board that looks like our communities. And in my race, I will be the only one on the board because we've never had that representation. My run for Hennepin County Commissioner is built upon rising together. It's built upon community leading at all levels of government, from the House to the city to the county. This is extremely important. We need this representation. I will be working heavily with folks with Omar, who will be sitting in the House to get legislation passed that will affect all of us. The county affects your housing, your food, your income. I work right now in Hennepin County in public assistance, and I see so many opportunities for us to do better. But our board doesn't see that because we've also never had anyone on the board who has worked directly for Hennepin County. Experience matters. And when I think about rising together, I think about leading together, and I want to bring you to the county board with me. We have never had community input in our local advisory councils in Hennepin County. We have standing councils who advise the board on a $2.4 billion budget to be more equitable, to do things better for our community, to provide economic development. What we don't have on the board is a racial equity advisory council, and that's the first thing that I'm going to do as your next Hennepin County Commissioner. The fourth district seat on the Hennepin County Board belongs to you. We are public servants elected to serve you. And I hope that we can work together August 14th, November 6th. I hope that I earn your support and then we lead together in community to bring your issues to the forefront. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for having me come today in unity with my Somali people. My name is Queen. I'm a black woman from a stolen tribe on stolen land. Please adopt me, Omar. Please adopt me. Somebody come save me. I need to be with my people. All right? <laughs> so one of the things I want to let you all know is I'm the executive director of One Family, One Community the Poor People's Campaign Minnesota, paying homage to Dr. Martin Luther King. Thank you. That's right. Because if it wasn't for Dr. King's blood, I don't think that none of us would be welcome here. I don't think none of us would be here. I'm just saying this because I truly believe that we are one as there's one God. There's one God. And so I believe that we can win. I believe that Omar is going to win, and I want you all to say this with me. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Absolutely. At this moment, I want to introduce Omar's chief of staff, Mahmoud. He is one young, dedicated, and I'm very, very, very pleased to be working with him and Omar. They have done so much for the community, and I'm happy he's part of our team. And he would like to share a few words with you guys. Omar Fatah is one of my best friends. Omar Fatah is somebody who I trust with my life. You can't say that about many political candidates. Omar is somebody I've known for the last three or four years, and the day he arrived in Minnesota, I knew that Umar was cut out for political office, not because he's a politician, but because he's a people's politician. Umar cares about the people. Hello, <laughs> Sa'abir. Umar Fatah, Wanin Qiyamala, Wanin Sharafla, Wanin Magala, Wanin Community and Unnukana, a tear tear, Urus Akamida. Hello, Sa'abir. 
And Sida Hindi Sheikh Tay, I am Umar is not his chief of staff, his chief strategist. His chief of staff is Dawson, our good friend. La Kinse. And what I do on the campaign is I build relationships between Umar and the outlying community. How can we get people of different backgrounds and different creeds and different social standings, how can we get them involved in Umar's campaign? And that's something that I pride myself in doing. Without further ado, I want to ask you guys all in this room, Umar Fatah Matagir Sintihin. Umar Fatah Matagir Sintihin. Umar Fatah Matagir Firi, ini esta. Makanan masa main esta. Hadi ingat dah wajah gerai na. Makanan tu lawan na. Ingu dia lejo. Makanan masa main esta. Makanan tu lawan na. Umur mana wajah gerai? On election day, are we gonna come out for Umur Fatah? Bas. Dini tu nuhai kuta agen tu hai. Kaf hadu mar balang kah. Balang tu aswah inlaga sabah. Ya, wa wahad skur rasinya. And I want to introduce my good friend, Umur's actual chief of staff. And the guy who really puts it all together, my good friend Dawson Kimian. Hello, it's Tag. It's Saab Kim. Let's go. How's it going? Saab. Hey. Let's go. Huh? I want to work in the Mashara this year. Mashara, Mashara. Rakina and Saab. Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dawson. I'm the campaign manager for Omar Fateh for Minnesota House of Representatives in District 62A. I want to thank the workers of Phillips Community Center for being our gracious hosts. I also want to thank all of the many volunteers, elected officials, supporters and guests who have made this gathering possible tonight. Today is not just about Omar Fateh. As you all know, in this cycle, we've seen craven attack after craven attack against our immigrant communities and communities of color. These attacks come in part from far-right officials and their supporters. We see DACA and TPS recipients are losing their status in our society. Families have been separated at the border. In Minnesota, Republicans and some Democrats have been pointing fingers at the Somali community, accusing them of supporting terrorist organizations accusing them of supporting terrorist organizations overseas because they had the nerve to send money back home to their families the only way that they could, which is through the MSP airport. On Wednesday, this campaign team traveled to Duluth to witness and stand opposed to President Trump and his cabal of fear mongers firsthand. It was startling to witness how normal these attitudes are in our society as folks who might seem like friends and allies come out of the woodwork to show their true colors in the form of hats with the fascist slogan, Make America Great Again, or the new slogan, Keep America Great. No. But the truth is, the existence of hate and our inequality in our society is not a reflection of who we are, as in us in this room. Rather, our own values and character as progressives will show itself in how we respond. Resistance is important, but remember that the resistance started when we were two years out from the election this November. Remember that the most important tactic the right wing has is to divide and conquer, to keep us so preoccupied with holding our own flanks as separate groups that we are forced to compete over issues. And so I'll say it again, that this rally in this election is not just about Omar Fateh. It's about all of us who understand what we mean when we say rise together this August and this November, because together we are the majority. We are the majority of folks who believe that racism is a fundamental threat in this country. We're the majority of people who believe that health care and housing are human rights, fundamental rights in our society. We're the majority of people who stand against bullying and discrimination towards folks based on their gender or sexuality. We're the majority and we need to elect candidates who are more than just progressive yes votes. We need to elect candidates who will be our champions. And for, as for me, I decided to become Omar Fate's campaign manager because I believe that he is that champion for District 62A. Omar is a candidate who puts doing the right thing over doing what's in his own best interest. He was the candidate who encouraged his employees to unionize, to form the first collective bargaining agreement for a statehouse campaign in the country. 
Omar is a candidate who is empowering young leaders in the DFL to rise up in the ranks and become great influencers. And Omar is a candidate who recognizes that in order to undo centuries of oppression and inequality in this country, the people of Minnesota need more than just a yes vote. They need a leader who will sit down with them, who will put in the work for them, who will fight for them. Friends, it is my pleasure to introduce your, the, that leader, your next state representative from District 62A, Omar Fateh. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Hey! Hey! Yeah! Hey! 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 We got it! We did it! Omar! Yeah! السلام عليكم السلام عليكم جزاك الله thank you all for coming out here tonight uh, before I begin I want to mention two people that were my two earliest supporters and I'd like to call them both up to stand beside me uh, first Rebecca Gannon Rebecca can you please come up and also one more I'll also like to call uh, Ed Lul Hasanlari, please come up. Lul Hasanlari. Lul Hasanlari. Thank you. Thank you, Omar. I am so honored to be here uh, standing now next to Omar, who I am so honored again to support. I really look forward. I'm currently on the school board. I'm Rebecca Gagnon. I am your at large school board member, and I'm running for re election. And I know this is a person that I can work with at the Capitol. A lot of our challenges come from bad legislation, bad governance, bad policy making. And I know Omar is someone that will support public education, support our youth, support our families, and support diverse educational opportunities for our students. I have fought with Siad Ali to make sure that during budget cuts, we did not cut dollars to bilingual education. I fought to make sure Phillips Pool opened for Minneapolis Public Schools students, families, and this community. And I want to continue fighting for you to make sure that your students, your kids, your families have accessible public schools in every community. So please, Vote August 14th or early vote June 29th for Omar and myself, Rebecca Gagnon, and send us, send me back to office, send him to office so we can work together. I'd like to pass the mic to another one of my early supporters, uh, Edalul Hassanlari. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wow. 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نكل يراهد عمر فاتح أنا جوحة إنها وتاجر سنة هاي وادعينا إنه بالشي سنة تاجنا هاي هرتي سنة تاجنا هاي جداش سنة تاجنا هاي إلهنا وحنا وغير شيئنا إن إله جوش إنه قاعد تمسوا قليه قول إيش Thank you so much, Ed Alul Hasalari, and thank you so much to school board member Rebecca Gannon, who is also running for re-election. I'd also like to call up our next future congresswoman, Elhan Omar. Please come up. She's currently a state representative for 60B. She's running for Congress to replace Keith Ellison in CD5. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. هذه هذا أنا أقول فرح سنة هاي إن أنا كسوق قف جل كسوق خيب جلو. أنا حفلة دانيتي أو أنا لو لو لوجو دبال دجايو أو لسكوك ديارين أيو. أنا دور شوين كبلابن ربا أنا جمعة الصوص عتو. مركب وحن في لايا إذن كونا إن ديار سنتيهين إن ديار أتيهين إن عمر إيو سومالي دهن أو ذا ترتنسن أدعو ذي سين أو أو ذا درتين كل جود. داد كبدنا ما يخانا نعني عمر إن وحن وحن إسكوبر نعني محل هايش أجمل أو داد كربان إن كرسي أثر تمان إيه لوجوتها ببرو. And summer ke wahan umalah na 2014 ke muah ha. Summer ke 2014 and wahan tagi Washington DC training and and gelaiye o week one week dan aha. Tertentu ke mesh training ke ano jogo wahan arke wheeler o and add udah ayer o ekhen in o na mahal ha sek jago isku diarin ayo and. وان وان سلامي وحن كنا هيدا هذا هذا ويرتها هاي جا جمارتها أنا وترتنتيد مركز حيير هذيك أنا هذا 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 ويرتها هاي جا جمارتها أنا وترتنتيد مركز وحن كنا هاي هذيك رورون هيدا هذا هذا ويرتها أنا وهو إيه كهلا مركز هذا أنا أقول فرح سنة هاي إن إن ويهاي قف مرهورات إس إس كوبي مي هذا أنا ربع إن كوميونتي جيس عصب إن ومثله أنا وحن في لايا إذن كودن هدينا تكلسوني نكو قبتين هدي كلا تمشان ماذا إيمان لهذين دت كبدنا أو ترتن كوكو جيران الله بوحى أباهين بوحى أباهين عد يدعو مركب وحن أمة لينا يا إن عد إن أدعين دونتين أو عد كينا ناسين دونتين أنا جنا سدوا إذن شاقي إن عمر وحن أشرح سن وحن أشرح سنة هاي إن كرسي جو كيت ألسن هذا كفريه وكتجي ربو إن وحن أمة لينا يا إن كل يجي وده درين سنتين هذي مسلمين عن هاي كرسي جسيت مهم كونو يهاي هذا أنا مهم تهاي إن فرصة عن هلنا أو قف كلا مسلم أهمش سونا وقف ريستو سا سادو أكتهين مهم لماذا سو حكلتوا نلو أك جوفرنر كا أو مينيسوتا أو إن يجو تاجير ترتن كيجا وحكلتوا مهم لماذا سيتي نلو أك أفرتني يشان قف أو مسؤولين أه أو إن كترسن سكول بورد سيتي كونسل إلا إيو ريبرزنتيف أو إن كونغرسيونال فايف أو ترتن كيان تاجير أي سادو أكتهين أحد الصور دافين وحن كقولي سنين إن أن تاجير بحدك هل نحس بجا مركا واسيس عنا وحن هذا أو باهن نهاي إذن كان هنا نود عيسين أو أد نقطة غيرتين كرسي جانيت هذان هلا كرسي جان كرسي إلهان وح أطرع معها وكرسي سومالي ضرنا إيه مسلمين ضرنا ملك سيد جيهين مريك هنكا إيه ودم هذا كلاته مريك هنكا إيه لا شقيسة فرصة أهلايان إن إيه كفاء إذا استان مرك وحن أد أقف رح سنة هاي إن أنا جو مانت كتجايو وحش كرسي جان إذن متلي جريو استيد كأها إن ما أنت أي جيران تد عمر وكلاته أه أو أتاجن أو باص كاس بوحين دونه ما أنت كيف هدونا قد تجايين إنه أنا وكلاته أنا كورس كاس بوحين دونه مرك دت بدن عجرة أو كول والسنة كيف ألسن كورس جم حقوق تجايا أو إلهان كورس جم حقوق تجيسا لكن وحما بنينا إنه وحكلاته راذينه إنه ماشي أم بنينا إنه دت كلاته أن بوحين أيو مركو حا أباها إنها إنا نيدين نو فورتين إنا نو دعيسين إنا نلش خيسين وما هاد سنتهين Thank you so much for Elhan Umar 
uh, school board member Rebecca Gannon and Ed Alul Hassalari for those kind words. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Omar Fatah and I'm a candidate for the Minnesota House of Representatives for District 62A. Uh, I would like to first thank my volunteers, um, the people that made this possible, uh, my family and friends, and all of you that are here tonight. Uh, seven months ago, I began, I announced my candidacy for uh, this seat, and since then my life has, nev has never been the same. Uh, in that time, we've built a grassroots movement, uh, we've knocked on thousands of doors, and we have earned an immense amount of support uh, from the community, especially those of you that are here with us tonight. Make no mistake, the Somali community is behind this campaign. You are all the reason why I am here tonight, why I've made it this far, and I'm forever grateful. But I also want to say that the work is not yet done. I need you when early voting begins June 29th through the primary day, August 14th. Are you guys ready to support my campaign? Can I count on your vote? I am also here tonight to speak on our community, our future, and what I think we can become. But because I understand uh, that our past can be as important as where we are going, I would like to tell you a little bit about myself and my family. My father was born in Somalia in 1940, in a time when Somalia saw peace, prosperity, and unity. Uh, 55 years ago, he was offered a scholarship opportunity uh, to attend a school in the United States on a full scholarship. Uh, out of many applicants, he was one of just a few selected, and he went on to study civil engineering in Montana State University. After that, he went on to become a U.S. citizen and a federal government employee. Uh, that's a story that has been unique to our country, but now a hopeless thought to many, uh, given uh, our current administration. My mother is one of the hardest working people and family-oriented people I know. She has instilled in me the values of hard work and commitment to family and unity and community. She has sacrificed a lot to raise this, uh, me and my five siblings, and she has also received her own bachelor's degree but sacrificed her own dreams and ambitions uh, to take care and raise the six of us. She made that decision to put, put aside her dreams uh, to raise me and my siblings full time so that we could have a better future. She spent much of her time caring for my older sister, Marian, who was born with mental disabilities. I have seen firsthand the importance uh, of providing resources for those who suffer mental illness as I've witnessed my own sister struggling with switching schools multiple times, lacking adequate services from the community and from the government, and having been misdiagnosed more than once. This issue is very important to me, and because I have seen the impact it has on the families and, the, and our caregivers, this is why I strongly believe that we shouldn't only fully fund our education, education system, but I'll be a strong voice for fully funding our special education programs. My mother also took care of my late grandmother who had a whole list of illnesses and was constantly admitted to the hospital as well. I witnessed the struggles that she went through to ensure me and my family had adequate care and the burdens that it placed on us even with good health care. That is why I believe that health care is a human right for everybody and I will fight for single-payer health care as I believe that it is the only moral solution. I am running because I see many of our brothers and sisters that are struggling and how our community can be when everyone is given a fair chance. I spent some time as a community college advisor and there I saw how hard our, our communities and our colleges can be on our students that look like me and many of your children here tonight. I worked hard to provide these kids opportunities, provided them with counseling, placed them in jobs and internships, and made sure that they did their, either best to e their absolute best to either graduate with a two-year degree or transfer to a four-year college. Their success showed me that there is power in opportunity. 
It worked for me and it worked for them. That is why I believe school should be free from early childhood education through college. With this being the poorest district in the state of Minnesota, we must invest in our youth, our future. Our kids do not need more policing. They need more opportunities. This leads me to another issue that is very close to me. Uh, reforming our criminal justice system. We need to eliminate the school to prison pipeline. We need to change the way our youth are disciplined and emphasize the need for community intervention rather than punishment. The, the way our state is operating right now is not only immoral, it is not sustainable. You cannot tell me and my community that we do not have the money to put all of our kids through college, that we cannot do it in a publicly funded way. While people of color are being incarcerated at a disproportionately higher rate compared to their peers, it costs about $40,000 per year per inmate, while at the same time tuition at the University of Minnesota is roughly $14,000 per student. Not only is it more affordable to put our kids through college, these are folks that will go on to become taxpayers, and we can lift them out, out of poverty that we're seeing in this district. The time for change is now, and I'm looking to be that change for the community. We need to change the way we police our communities. We need the way we change the way we address the issues that are plaguing our indigenous brothers and sisters, such as the opiate crisis. And we must always remember that we are on their land. We need to change how we address the housing crisis we, and how we engage our communities of color. And we need to change how we treat our immigrant populations, including the Latino communities and our undocumented uh, brothers and sisters that have been under attack by our current president and our administration through ICE. And I, I promise you all that I will be that voice for change. These issues will not be easy to fix. It's going to take time, but I can promise you this. If I have your, commi your continued commitment and your continued support, I am committed. I am committed to racial justice, economic justice, social justice, and environmental justice. Can I count on you for your continued support? Can I count on your vote? Yes. I would like to conclude by saying this. I believe that the way our district has been, uh, should be seen and talked about should be talked about in a, pro in a positive way. And it is up to us to change the narrative by showing the blessings of our shared cultures, our diverse communities, and displaying our strength, our resilience, and our solidarity for one another. When we fight together, we cannot be stopped. We Somalis have a saying, stand out or remain silent. So those of you who have been silent, it's time for us to stand out, stand up together, and rise together. I need you all to stand up. I need your support. I need your vote. I need you to continue this fight. And inshallah, with your support, we will win this election. We will win this primary. And thank you all for coming out tonight. Thank <laughs> you.